Hello, Internet, and this is The Whole Ball of Wax. I'm your host, Andrew Sellers, and today I'll be talking about why indie is greater than hipster. Hipsters are men and women that are usually in their 20s and some in their early 30s, though in the past five to six years, many teams have begun following the style that value independent thinking, progressive politics, appreciate art, find local and foreign little-known bands, and attempt a witty banter. Thank you, Urban Dictionary. Though being a hipster is really more of a state of mind and a character set, it has also manifested itself in the form of fashion, whether it's a bandana loosely tied around the neck, skinny jeans, red, black, and plaid, long sleeves, rolled shirts, band flats, Ray-Ban Wayfarers, pink fluff vests, sherbet orange and lavender dresses, leopard print tights, or thin elastic hairbands, it all fits together into just a few variants of the visual identity that is a hipster. Now, hip is an adjective that is defined as to be familiar with or informed about the latest ideas, styles, and developments. Now, it isn't bad for someone to listen to indie artists, be self-expressive, form fashion interests, or stay informed with the most recent pop culture topics. It's just when people decide to think themselves as better than others by knowing this information, thinking this way, and dressing in a certain manner that a hipster is born. They take pride in themselves as being surveyors of what is the most current thing. Contrary to what many people believe, being a hipster is much different than being indie, um, at least contrary to what some people believe. To start, being a hipster is a characteristic. Indie refers to a musician or a band independent from main labels and are typically unsigned. An indie artist creates. Most hipsters do not. Yes, it's true, most of the hipsters of the world contribute nothing more to the artistic realms other than their long-winded blogs that talk about how amazing fixie bikes and messenger bags are typed out on the MacBook Pro and a Starbucks on a rainy June afternoon after they, of course, update their Twitter on their iPad. Now, I love the indie realm, when a musician is reliant and they do almost, if not all the work themselves, it refines their music in pretty much every way. Their effort is genuine and hard-pressed. They don't play around and throw some 8-bit join with a Telecaster plunk tune and a drum machine song that they came up with. Their music is good music. Like Pomplamoose, Andrew Bird, Feist, Arcade Fire, The Shins, Passion Pit, The Books, The Drums, Beirut. It's endless. For me, indie music is very, very real music. It's true effort, talent, and feeling. Now, I don't particularly hate many people in this world, but unless you're some douchebag who is just out to hurt the world, then yeah. But uh, besides people trying to hurt other people, I, I don't hate hipsters. Most of the time, they're actually pretty nice, as anyone else would be, and people are free to listen to whatever and wear whatever they want, but what I really do hate is just the attitude. And, you know, to quote The Simpsons, the coolest thing you can ever do is call yourself cool.